Hey everybody, Anthony Hunkler here with MagnaShade and in today's video we'll be going over the proper way to take accurate measurements of your glass while also explaining the importance of doing so as it relates to the manufacturing process of MagnaShade. Let's start things off by taking a look at the measurement verification form, which is an online form that we utilize to capture the verification information that you, the customer, will fill out. So there are yes and no questions, and as you select yes to the products you are interested in or have purchased, it'll populate different things that it needs information for, such as specific measurements for the windshield. So with all that being said, let's jump into the video and I'll show you exactly where to measure. Let's get started by measuring the length of your wiper blades as a pair of wiper blade covers are included with the purchase of a windshield shade. And once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the windshield. And the first measurement we're gonna take is a center vertical. So going from the very top edge of glass in the center of the windshield, all the way down to the bottom edge of glass. And when I say edge of glass, that is super important because we do not want to measure any of the gasket or frame information. We just want the raw dimensions of the glass in all of these measurements. Next up is the exterior passenger vertical. And as you saw me do in the previous measurement, I'm using this piece of tape to help hold that measuring tape to the top edge of glass. That way I can bring it down all the way to the bottom edge of glass and get an accurate measurement. So if you don't have a second set of hands that can help hold the measuring tape for you, I would highly recommend that you go about using this method. Now that we've completed both exterior vertical dimensions for the windshield, let's jump into the bottom horizontal measurement where we're gonna measure from side edge of glass all the way over to the corresponding side edge of glass. The next few measurements we will take are gonna be the exterior passenger dash tent, the exterior center dash tent, and the exterior side tent. Now, if you notice, we're just measuring the solid black portion. Please do not include the small dots that are on the edge of the tent. All right, now that we've taken all of the exterior dimensions for the windshield glass, we're gonna go inside and take a couple of interior measurements. Now, this is key for us to understand how much interference you have. And when we say interference, we're referring to cabinetry, side trim, or dash that gets in the way of physically placing a magnet towards the bottom, side, and top edge of glass. And this is super important because it dictates where we place magnets in the shade and how we construct the shade for your coach in general. So follow me inside and we'll get started. Starting with the interior center vertical on the windshield, I'm gonna take that measuring tape and go as far uh, to the top edge of glass as I can. And then you'll see me right here, I put pressure on the very bottom of the measuring tape as far as I can reach down. And I'll come up to about 52 and a quarter inches on that measurement. For the interior passenger vertical, you can see that we're pretty much doing the same thing as the previous measurement. We're going as high up to the edge of glass as possible and then reaching behind the dash where there's a little bit of a void uh, to get that measurement of about 53 inches. The last few measurements we are gonna take on the inside of the windshield are gonna be the center dash tent. Again, just measuring the thickness of that black band that runs around the perimeter of the windshield. Right here, we're doing the passenger side dash tent. And then next, we're gonna do the side tent closer to the bottom of the windshield. And then next, we're gonna do the side tent towards the top of the windshield. For those of you who ordered a digital print, we are going to take a few more measurements for the wiper blades and specifically what we're going to do is locate your wiper blades relative to your windshield and this is super important because as you can see in these clips it will allow us to blend your wiper blade covers to the image that you selected for your windshield shade. So this is the wiper blade diagram that we will want you guys to follow 
and if you have vertically parked wipers just simply select that you have the vertical wipers on the measurement verification form and it will populate a different diagram for you to follow now in these next few clips I am not gonna voice over I'm just gonna let you follow along and watch where I'm taking these measurements If you did order side shades, we're gonna want some verification for those, and it's pretty simple and pretty much the same for each side. Uh, now on the driver's side, please tell us if it's a power or manual sliding window. Uh, but the first measurement, as you just saw, is gonna be a center vertical. So going from the top edge of glass down to the bottom edge of glass there, um, and excluding any frame information. So moving along, we got a bottom horizontal. Now some of your driver sides are going to be at an angle where the bottom left edge points downward and that's okay just simply keep the measuring tape level and go ahead and get that bottom horizontal measurement the remainder of these measurements are pretty simple as we just need a center vertical and a bottom horizontal measurement The last thing we're gonna go over in this video is how to measure your mirrors for mirror covers. Now, if you go on the online form and select yes, it'll populate the information we need, which is the height, the width, and the depth of your mirrors. And you can see below that, we also require you to fill out whether or not you have a camera on your mirror. And at the bottom, you can also upload a couple pictures, which helps production when making your mirror covers. As you can see represented by this yellow line, when measuring the height of your mirror, just go from the very top all the way down to the bottom edge. Um, and what you wanna do is make sure that you are going from the edge of the housing, not just the actual mirror itself. When measuring the width of your mirror, let's just make sure that we are measuring at the widest point. Now, if you have a camera on the side of your mirror, which a lot of you guys do, then make sure you include that information in the measurement. Lastly, we are gonna measure the depth of your mirror. And the easiest way to figure that out is by following along with this yellow line and measuring from the edge all the way to the deepest part of the mirror. That way we can get a good fit for your mirror cover. That does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns about what we went over in this video, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our office number is 336-753-0905. Also, make sure you go check us out online at magnashade.com. That's M-A-G-N-E shade.com.